If you've ever recorded with your camera, you've probably stumbled upon something that wasn't supposed to be there, something that was unexpected. It's not very common, but it sometimes happens. For instance, a couple of friends play with the Ouija board and it doesn't go exactly as they expected it to. Also, while driving in Japan, a couple of people spot what appears to be teleportation caught on camera. Pretty impressive concrete work in here. A well in England that actually petrifies objects if you leave them there. Randonautica is a new application that generates coordinates for adventures and claims to turn your thoughts into reality. All right, guys, welcome. Today we're going to be doing some Randonautica. Okay. Oh God, there's more screaming as we're approaching the grave. This Randonautica app has been taking people to some really creepy places and we're going to be analyzing some of those. Also, sometimes while watching live television, unexpected things can happen, such as a strange and ghostly figure that crosses the screen at very high speed, and a very bizarre creature is caught lurking in the background of one of the ego cams. This, and many more unexpected things that were actually caught on camera, that will probably blow your mind. Let's go. A couple of years ago in the state of Sao Paulo, the water of a dam started to disappear out of nowhere. For a while, no one knew exactly what was going on until this happened. A sinkhole had opened in the middle of the dam and it was sucking all of the water. Fortunately for these two workers, everything ended up fine, but I can't imagine being in the same situation. Talk about unexpected, a couple of years ago a video went viral of a strange formation in the clouds. A group of people were taping the sky when all of a sudden they saw this. It looks as if a bunch of circles formed out of nowhere in the middle of the clouds. I really enjoy inviting people over to have a good meal. And I guess this was the exact situation in this video that went viral last year. In this video, we can see what's supposed to be a zombie salmon. Tell me what you think. What is really going on here? It's over here by the mountains, but I remember that there's this trend going on. What is it called? Randonautica? Yeah. It's an app where, like, supposedly... It doesn't get more unexpected than randonauting. This new Randonautica application theoretically can make your thoughts become a reality when it comes to random locations and bizarre and creepy things that happen at these locations. Oh, it's called Rando, not but like online it says like it's haunted. It is the case with Exploring with Eric YouTube channel who decided to do some randonauting with his girlfriend. So we are heading to the location um, that Randonautica gave us. And this is what happened. Check this out. Don't tell me it's here. What the Yo, check this place out, guys. What? There's no way this could happen. leads them to a place where there are dozens of dolls hanging from wires, and there is also a witchcraft sign, or maybe more of a warning. I can't make out exactly what is written in this sign. Alright, so right off the bat, guys, we got a bunch of dolls here just laying around, around this fence. There's a really big chance that somewhat this is a place for rituals or something like that. I'm not too sure if I would be venturing and going into this place myself. And what about Randonautica? Would you try it yourself? <laughs> now I do believe in the possibility that there are ghosts and entities out there. But it's not everyone that actually believes in this and most of the times there is a really good explanation to paranormal events other than just a ghost or something that is invisible. Yo. Hello, shorty. 
However, it is not the case with TikToker Esteban Gonzalez. Esteban probably did not expect what was happening there. He heard one of his dogs barking and he went to check it out. He says that the dog was acting weird. And if you actually take a look and if you observe closely in this footage, you will see that there's something like an invisible force that is pulling the dog aside. I don't know about you, but my mom always used to say not to play with the Ouija board. The two people in this video are playing with the Ouija board in Brazilian style, and it involves a glass cup. To me it is clear that the person to the right is laughing very hard because he is probably afraid of the game. <laughs> In complete disbelief, he starts to make fun of the girl when this happens. <laughs> Unexpectedly, the painting on the wall falls by itself and the cup also starts moving by itself. By this point, probably the people that were playing the game are very much scared. Not to mention that the girl's reaction seems completely legit. So this video doesn't seem fake to me. But don't be shy. What are your thoughts? Whatever it is, it seems that there has been an increase in sightings. For instance, in China, a couple of people were touring a city when they stumbled upon this bizarre formation on the clouds. At first I thought these could be sprites or a crown flash, but I'm pretty sure it's neither of those. In your opinion, what could it be? Imagine yourself strolling through the woods when suddenly you encounter petrified objects out of nowhere. This is sort of what happens in a petrifying well in North Yorkshire. It's one of the oldest tourist attractions and this petrifying well was once thought to have been cursed by the devil himself. The earliest written reference of the well goes back to 1538 by John Leland. He wrote that the well was very well known and visitors drank and showered under its falling waters as they believed it had miraculous healing powers. But it's not like this well was blasted by Medusa or something like that. Eventually, scientific analysis of the water revealed that the magic behind the petrification process is its high mineral content that precipitates over objects, creating a hard shell of mineral over it with time. What is amazing, however, is the speed at which the petrification occurred. Rather than centuries, it takes only months for any object to become petrified. Talking about speed, imagine watching live television and all of a sudden you catch something like this happening. A very strange figure crosses one of the newscasters at a very high speed and no one knows exactly what this is. It has been coined as a djinn or a ghost or something like that. It clearly isn't just a glitch on the television or the transmission itself. Something happened here and it was probably not supposed to be on camera. Whatever it was, there is no explanation till today. Still on live television and talking about Jin, someone was watching a soccer game when they caught this very bizarre figure crossing the field. I have to admit, strange things do occur sometimes and, like I said, there's usually an explanation for them. However, it's not the case with this person that was returning from the supermarket, went to the garage when strange things started to occur. His motorcycle turns on by itself. Now this is not the only video that could have actually captured paranormal activity. Really, this place is like not... Did you hear? There is another video of a jinn hunter in Saudi Arabia who was inside of a haunted building when all of a sudden this happened. He was walking door to door hunting a ghost or a jinn when he found some sort of cursed rope tied into one of the windows. Look at this. 
He started to recite a special chanting so he could undo whatever magic was cast into that rope. And what's most intriguing about this is that the fire does not seem natural. I don't see any smoke, for example, in it. Don't be shy, leave a comment. What do you think is really going on here? Yeah, look at this. This is cool. There's the spaceship, you see it? It's right there. Yes, it is. No, it's not. In one certain night, a group of people were watching a storm that was approaching when they suddenly observed a very strange figure in the clouds. More than a figure, it was actually some sort of object that the uploader of the video believed to be some sort of spaceship. If you actually pay attention, it really does look as if there's something hiding there inside of the storm. Have you ever seen anything like this? Now, there are a number of videos that were uploaded out there that are supposed to be glitches in the matrix or something like that. Something that's not supposed to be there, but it is. And it's the case with this video that was uploaded recently in England, where we can see sheep that appear to be frozen out of nowhere. Why do you think this is happening here? Oh, what the f man? Is that a f crow? Ma! Now, I consider myself part of nature and I really enjoy animals. Although bears, I would prefer to see very much far away from me. Which is not the case with this girl who was practicing snowboard and she didn't actually see what was behind her. She was filming herself and I guess it was very lucky of her to actually not see that the creature was trying to approach her. Lucky for her, nothing happened. Now, most of the people that I know of enjoy sunbathing at a good beach on a weekend. It is exactly what these people were doing when all of a sudden part of the beach started to erode and this is what happened. Oh my god! Oh my god! Lucky for them, nothing happened and everybody was okay. But this is surely something I would not expect happening at a beach if I were there, for instance. Has anything of this sort ever happened to you? When I see lights flickering in the sky at night, I usually think it's a thunderstorm or something like that. And I bet this was the same thing with this person that was taping these weird lights that were flickering behind the clouds at night. When all of a sudden, different lights with different colors starts to appear. Now, take into consideration that most of these lights are behind the clouds, in other words, possibly not coming from a source on Earth. So what the heck is going on here? A very similar situation, but this time with objects glowing in the sky happened in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. When a family caught flickering lights in the sky, and at first they thought it was helicopters, when they realized these objects did not move like helicopters nor planes, and possibly these are not drones. So whatever is going on here, it may not be of this world. The ghost town we just checked out is in the valley down that way, and I'm up where they were constructing, in the process of constructing an absolutely enormous mill uh, before this whole project was abandoned. Uh, just to give you a sense of how large that is, that's the, uh, that, spe that blue speck off in the distance is the Lada. So uh, I hope that gives you a sense of how huge this mill was going to be. TVR Exploring YouTube channel was taking a look at an abandoned mine in Angolchak in Russia when he heard a very strange sound when he was practically midway in one of the mines. Check this out. Workbench here and some equipment. They've got a good drainage system. It's working the way it's supposed to. You see the water's shunted off to the side here and is flowing out, which is what you want. There's some of the uh, 
stuff on a workbench. I'm not even really sure where If you pay close attention, it appears there's someone screaming in the tunnel. You might want to use headphones for this one. There's some of the uh, stuff on a workbench. Not so long ago, before humans lived in urban areas, we used to have much more contact with nature and wildlife, and there were many strange stories of people that disappeared out of thin air, strange creatures, sounds, and caves that used to go as deep as one's imagination. Recently, you can see some cracking around the edges, you can see the faults there. Nowadays, because of technology, big cities, and, well, the way humans are, 83% of the population lives in urban areas, and little is known about what really happens in the woods. Hello? Hey, where's, where's mom? Mom, what's up? Oh, I don't know. Something really, really... Huh? I don't know if you guys can keep seeing this behind me when I'm doing this here. Alright, let's go, 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 go. And today we're gonna be taking a look at creepy, scary, and strange videos of bizarre things that happen in the woods. Are you ready? Let's go. If you ask around, a lot of people will tell you that they have strange and mysterious things happen to them in the woods. There's a YouTube channel by the name of High Gear and they focus on motorcycling and dirt biking. Now dirt biking can happen in specific dirt roads, creeks, mountains and the woods. And in one cloudy day the guys from High Gear decide to do their thing in a forest just next to a couple of people that were camping and enjoying their time. At first, everything seemed fine and they were having loads of fun. You can actually see that they know what they're doing. However, it really looks like it can be a bit dangerous. And it's not exactly the safest thing to practice in the woods. They were capturing everything on camera with their GoPro. And in one certain moment, they find a spot, what appears to be an abandoned construction site. It was after it started raining that they felt the urge to go back. And this is when the unexpected happened. Check this out. All of a sudden, the first biker crouches to defend himself from a wire that was set up in one of the trails that they were at. It was very lucky of them because if they didn't see it, things would probably ended up very much differently. Now what's creepiest about this situation is that someone, someone that was probably there in the woods hiding, actually took their time to set up this trap, this death trap, with the meanest of intentions. Every country has myths and legends, and Colombia has many of them in the woods. The thing is, most myths and legends are just a figment of someone's imagination, however some are considered real. In Colombia, locals report seeing many strange things in the woods, and one of these things is El Mohan, a humanoid creature with sunburned face, long hair, dark body, and piercing eyes. It is said that this humanoid creature is magical in some way and it appears next to rivers and lives in underground cave systems in Colombia. Even though El Mohan is just considered a myth, locals there fear encountering such a thing when they go fishing in certain lakes and rivers. The family was having fun in an undisclosed location in Colombia. One of the boys in the videos wants to jump inside the river and their mother decided to record this moment. 
Little did she know what she was about to capture on camera. Did you see it? What appears to be three dark shadowy figures flying just above the river are captured on camera. Their mother at the time did not notice this, but when she published the video to Facebook, it went instantly viral. And most were left baffled to what exactly is going on here. Some suggest that it could be birds, but whatever this thing is, it's too big to be birds. Others say that this could actually be video proof of El Mohan. However, I'm not too sure. What is your take? Now a common activity for someone who frequently goes into the woods is hunting. Now usually when one goes hunting, it is expected to find animals and critters in the woods. However, Casey Sanders found something else, something quite chilling. This is what he captured on camera. Are you b alone? If I see somebody else, this will not be good. Casey encounters a strange man with unknown intentions that was lurking just by a river in one of his properties. What? Explain to me what happened. Casey begins questioning the man who says he was at an EDM festival, Tomorrow World, when a group of men beat him, robbed him of everything including his clothes and dropped him off in the forest. He says he's been wandering for about four days now, drinking only water and trying to find a way back to civilization. Casey doesn't believe the man and doesn't like the fact that he's naked in his property. He asks for more information but the man seems completely confused. After a while, Casey threatens to call the police and the man finally gives him a phone number to call. Casey does that and tells the person to pick the man up at the nearest highway, which is what happens later. No, what, what county? What's, uh, what's your address? To this day, no one knows exactly what really happened here and if the man had good intentions or if he was telling the truth. Hang on a minute, man. Hang on a minute. In your opinion, what do you think happened to this man and do you think he was telling the truth? Now just imagine the following situation, you decide to go camping all alone, which isn't exactly the smartest decision, it's close to midnight. And to feel less lonely, you decide to do a live stream to show your viewers exactly where you are and what's going on. When all of a sudden, unexplained phenomena starts happening all around you and you actually capture that on camera. That's exactly what happened with DB Interactive Media YouTube channel. Now, DB Interactive Media is a channel focused on classic Disneyland attractions, classic Disney cartoons, and things of sort. There are no other videos in his entire channel that focuses on unexplained phenomena. This is what he captured on camera. This campfire roar in here, okay? So, hang on. Back it up. I don't know if you guys can keep seeing this behind me when I'm doing this here. Hang on. That is really weird. I am like... Get a little closer. There we go. Maybe you'll see it behind me. Um, I've wandered everywhere in the forest here all day. And I see every star in the sky. There's no clouds. There's nothing. But this light keeps flashing up in the trees, different areas. Um, it's really weird, and I don't know how to describe it because it keeps flashing in different areas of the trees. Sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher, and I don't know what it is. I just hear elk around. It's kind of freaky. All right, let me, I'll, I'll turn it back again. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it is really freaky. I've never seen anything like that. At a first glance, DB Interactive captures what appears to be two spheres of light shining amidst the trees. No helicopter. Oh, did you see it? The video goes on for a few more minutes, but DB Interactive isn't able to capture the event fully. A few hours later, he tries to capture it again and does another live stream. This time, things go a bit different. There it is again. No lightning, because it's the same area every time and there's no clouds anywhere. There's a clear sky. Um, yeah, that's a different area. Whoa! That looked like it came up from the ground, and now it's flashing, and then it... Whoa! 
that if I can zoom in, hang on, let me see if I can get this zoomed in a little closer. See if you guys can see this better. So I can get you the effect here, hang on. Okay, hang on. Then I know it's gonna be dark for a second. I don't know, it does look like it's closer. Though that's nothing, that's just embers flying that you see the little things crossing the screen. But you're gonna want, whoa! Now did you see what I'm talking about? For a moment there, he was able to capture it very clear. It looks like as if something is flashing amongst the trees. Now besides the fact that it really looks like small spheres of light coming from different directions, at one point he's able to capture it coming from the ground. Taking into consideration the entire context, this does not look like a lightning storm. It looks like what something it else. Make? It makes no sound at all. Just random flashing, different areas, and it's a big flash, like a big ball of light. Anyway, my point was this is an area that uh, Travis Walton got abducted in uh, up here near the Mogollon Rim. Needless to say, his video went viral on YouTube and many people left comments saying that they experienced similar things. There is even a video that I featured before on this channel of hunters in the Amazon forest who were able to capture what appears to be a ball of light shining amongst the trees. This time it's a bit different because it's not blinking. Check this out. Tell me what you think, have you ever experienced something like this? Now I don't know which is worse, finding yourself in the middle of the woods stuck with some sort of strange creature or hearing strange and unexplained sounds that you can't exactly make out where or what it's coming from. Crooked16 posted a very interesting experience of his in the woods. This is what he got on camera. Now Crooked 16th believes that he caught the sound of some strange creature. He says he was hiking down a small canyon near Highway 15 when he heard several loud bangs. Then after a few seconds, this strange screaming started and he then did what most would do. He caught his camera and started recording it. He says he has researched the screams and the closest sounding he has found are skinwalkers. Now a skinwalker in Navajo culture is a type of harmful witch who has the ability to turn into, possess or disguise themselves as an animal. Now I'm not too sure if this is a skinwalker, however, many people under his comment section said that there are no birds, the forest is completely silent. In other words, there is some sort of predator out there hunting something. And there was even a subscriber of his who posted a very similar story to his. Surprisingly, no one knows exactly what kind of creature this is. It might just be some sort of unknown animal or something like that. Have you ever heard this screeching sound and what is making it? Now this isn't the only unexplained and strange sound heard in the woods. There is a video coming from Roger Ramjat's YouTube channel where he experienced something bone chilling. Roger says that he was in Kamloops. Now Kamloops is a Canadian city in British Columbia where the North and the South Thompson Rivers meet. He was in the middle of the woods when this happened.
There is little to no information about what's going on here. Some say it could be a skyquake, which is a phenomenon where a loud booming sound is reported to originate from the sky. And to this day, there is little to no explanation about this phenomenon. Sometimes it's related to earthquakes, however, I'm not too sure if this is the case. What's your take? When people usually sit down to talk about strange things that they've seen in the woods, one topic that usually pops up is werewolves. The fact is, werewolves have never been proven, however in certain countries the topic is taken very seriously and sometimes connected with some sort of ancient witchcraft. And to this day, there are a lot of people who believe in this subject and say that they have seen such a creature. <laughs> it all started in 2017 in Brazil when a woman said she was attacked by a werewolf. She called the police and she actually made it official. Locals at the time in the city of Iguaremi said that they actually saw this creature and they made a video of its footprints and described exactly how the creature looked like. The thing is, everyone in the city was describing the exact same thing with details. But it doesn't stop there. A couple of years later, in 2019, Ethan Fares heard strange noises coming from outside his home in Sierra, Brazil. Fares decided to go outside and investigate for himself. If he knew, however, what was about to happen, he would have never done this alone. This is what he caught on camera. Galera, como eu falei no outro vídeo, é, relatos, galera, que mora um senhor no pé dessa serra, isolado, sozinho. E as pessoas acreditam que ele seja esse lobisomem. Eu, eu, eu tinha cortado aqui, mas eu escutei, mano. Escutei barulho pra cá, galera. Escutei um barulho pra cá, mano. Se hoje vocês estão achando um pouco melhor essa lanterna. Ó! Oh, Ó! Oh. Quem tá ouvindo? There are no wolves in Brazil, however we can hear strange howling noises coming from inside the woods where Ethan Faras is. By now, Faras is pretty sure that he shouldn't be there all alone. Instead of going back home, however, he goes deeper into the woods. You can hear in his voice that he's afraid of going further. This is what happens next. <laughs> Vou entrar mais, vou entrar mais para dentro, para dentro. In a brave move, Faris goes deeper into the woods, and this is when he hears some kind of dog behind one of the trees. This is what he saw. Que isso? Que aquilo? Que barulho é esse, velho? Mano, eu tô todo arrepiado, mano. Tem alguma coisa ali, velho, atrás daquelas árvores. Tem alguma coisa ali, mano. Tem alguma coisa ali, velho. Oh. Oh. Meu Deus, mano. Que é isso? Mano, eu vou arrutear, eu vou pelo outro lado, cara. Eu vou sair. All of a sudden, Faris finds himself face to face with some sort of creature and at first he thinks it's a dog, cause it's growling just like one. However, when he notices that this thing is taller than a human being, he runs for his life. You can hear in his voice that he's as scared as one can get. And if you watch this video closely, you can actually see the creature's eyes just behind the trees. Some even left comments that they could actually see the creature if you look close enough. In your opinion, is this the real deal and what would you do if you'd ever encounter this in the woods all alone? On October 2020, in the outskirts of a small town called Sealandia in Brazil, the creature was spotted again.
man was driving in his neighborhood close to a patch of woods when he noticed a humanoid creature crouching just next to one of the houses. When he also noticed that most of the dogs were barking very loud, he thought that it was strange, so he decided to follow this thing whatever it is. This is when this humanoid creature notices the man, stands up and starts running. What's strange about it is that the dogs in this neighborhood sensed something wrong. And there's a certain moment you can hear strange howling noise in the background. Whatever this thing is, the video went viral and left the internet instantly divided. Many left comments saying that this is a person and others were saying that this is actually a werewolf. Locals at the small town of Sealandia were saying that this is not the first time that they seen such a creature. Now just imagine the following situation. A group of people are gathered for a barbecue. It's a beautiful day and they decide to go fishing on a lake. When all of a sudden, you look to your side and the land starts rising by itself. This is sort of what happened in Haryana, India. Now Haryana is a North Indian state surrounding New Delhi on three sides and the Yamuna River runs along its eastern border with Uttar Pradesh. The thing is, a couple of months ago such an event was captured on camera and went almost instantly viral. And to this day there is no explanation. You can hear some of the men saying this is a new experience, this is amazing, the land is rising on its own, we have no idea what is happening. Now the thing is, some theorize that this could be because of tectonic movement and others say this is because of methane gas. For instance, methane gas is responsible for some of the huge sinkholes that we have been seeing forming in Siberia. But then again, after watching this video a couple of times, I've noticed that there are bubbles coming out of the water. This could indicate some sort of gas leaking out from the earth. However, it's very difficult to affirm exactly what it is that's going on here because there simply isn't enough information about it. Whichever is the explanation, I'm not too sure if it is a safe thing to simply stand next to this mysterious phenomenon and capture it on camera. What I do know, however, is that this isn't supposed to be in any way, shape or form a normal normal daily occurrence. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life, I've never even heard about it. In your opinion, what could be happening here? Now I remember when I was younger, I would go into the woods late at night with friends or family and we used to share stories of strange things that we had encountered in our lives. Holy And one of the most intriguing stories, at least to me, is unidentified creatures, such as Bigfoot. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of accounts and encounters with such a creature. It usually happens in the Northern Hemisphere, and in a recent video gone viral, we can see what's supposed to be a Sasquatch carrying one of its siblings crossing a river. Check this out. I remember. The clip is only 4.7 seconds long and has been originally uploaded by Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization YouTube channel. And while many internet users agree that this might actually be a Bigfoot, others state that this is just a man in a waiter suit or a fishing suit. Now because the clip is too small, it's very difficult to affirm, but it could be a man in a fishing suit and it could be something else. Now when it comes to mysterious and mythological creatures, it's not just Bigfoot that has been captured on camera. There is a creature known as Duende, and it is a humanoid figure of folklore with variations from Iberian, Latin American, and Filipino cultures. In this next video, a man is driving a truck in an unknown highway, when all of a sudden, something very strange happens. Check this out.
a very small humanoid figure is seen crossing the highway. Some believe that this could be a Duende sighting and others say that this is just a glitch in the matrix. Now it is very difficult to affirm, however the person who posted this video online said that this road is famous for Duende sightings, so it might just be that. In your opinion, what is going on here? This next video was posted by Business Krasnoyak YouTube channel and in it you can see an airplane or what appears to be an airplane stuck in midair. Now if you watch closely the airplane does not appear to be moving and all of a sudden it starts moving very fast. What's very unique about this video is that the plane is still in midair without any movement and all of a sudden it starts going very fast, making it very noticeable for anyone who's watching. So whatever is going on here, I would say this is maybe some sort of glitch in the matrix. What's your opinion? Now I'll tell you this, one thing is to be outside of a plane and see it glitching and the other is to be inside of it. Lisa K. Glasgow posted a video on Facebook recently of a bizarre glitch that she captured on camera, something that I can't quite explain and neither could any of her followers. She was flying on a regular commercial airplane from Cincinnati to Las Vegas when she captured this on camera. Lisa saw something very similar to what Carrie Farides and many others have seen during their flights. It's very difficult to say exactly what this is and what it could be. However, what's very similar in many of these videos is that it's always making the same type of movement. Some theorize that this could be smoke coming out from some sort of exhaust system. The question is, what exhaust system? There's no object there. Not only that, if it were to be smoke, wind and air would be making a difference when it moves from one side to the other and it doesn't appear to be the case. In your opinion, what is going on here? Now this next video of a roller coaster ride that you're about to watch has a very eerie backstory to it. A glitch in the matrix or something else, I'm not too sure. It seems that a couple of years back, a girl died in this roller coaster. And to this day, people don't know exactly how to explain some of the occurrences that are registered on camera in this place. Now in this video, everything seems normal. However, if you observe the girl in the last seat, it appears that her face is glitching and all of a sudden, she disappears completely without any cuts or edit. I'm gonna play the original video for you to watch and you tell me what you think is going on here. Now if you observe closely, in the end of the video we can clearly see that only three people are able to fit into this roller coaster ride. However, in the beginning of the video there were four of them. Now is this just a camera trick or is it a glitch in the matrix or is it something else? Now talking about a glitch in the matrix, Central America is a place full of mysteries and El Salvador has a big one going on at one of its beaches. At a beach known as La Puntilla there is a house that has been known for quite a while now as the center of many mysterious and strange stories. And for the last couple of months it has been the focus of many influencers and YouTubers to go out there and find out more about this strange and mysterious house that appeared out of nowhere in the middle of the beach. The house appears to be totally abandoned for quite a while and no one knows exactly what happened to it, how it got there and it, well anything about it. Otra teoría, yo en el periódico que leí había visto que la gente ponía que era una iglesia, otros que ponían que era una casa, igual como nos comentaban que era por el calentamiento, otras que se la había arrastrado hace como 30 años, 
While some people suggest that it's an abandoned hotel or a church, others say that this was actually the result of a very strong hurricane that happened in El Salvador. Now here is when things start to get very strange. In 1998, there was a very strong hurricane in El Salvador. It was Hurricane Mitch. And it was, well, very bad. And many internet users and even news outlets are saying that this is the reasonable explanation for what's going on here. However, locals and several other people have stated the contrary, saying that they visited this house way before 1998 and that it was already there just the same way that it is today. So that it could not be the result of Hurricane Mitch. And if you go into the explanation of what is going on here, it just gets weirder and weirder. It seems like no one really knows exactly how this house appeared in the middle of a beach. News outlets don't know. Locals don't know. No one knows. How strange is this? Now, if you've ever searched for mysterious and unexplained things in the internet, you've probably come across videos of strange humanoid figures flying in the sky. The thing is, in not so ancient times, there are many cultures that depict such creatures, sometimes as dragons and at other times, witches. The thing is, there are even accounts of policemen in Mexico, for instance, that have encountered such a thing and captured it on camera. Now, if this is real or not, it's very difficult to say. However, it all started in Mississauga, in Ontario, Canada. Wait. Let's fall. What is that? A couple of months ago, a video went viral of such a thing flying in the sky. And after that video went viral, things just got even stranger. Many people were leaving comments like, I saw the same thing. I think I saw something similar in my hometown. People were leaving comments saying that they saw the same thing in different places and at different moments. And all of a sudden, there were more than a couple of videos of this same humanoid figure flying in the sky all over. You can imagine that at first, people were saying that this is just a drone or this is just a balloon or something like that. But then again, this object is moving way faster than a balloon and it does not appear to be a drone. However, it's very difficult to affirm. Something similar happened in Mexico, but it was a bit different. This is what was captured on camera. In this video, we see something different than a flying humanoid, but it's definitely not an airplane, not a drone or anything like that. What's weird about these kind of videos is that they have been surfacing quite a lot lately. I'm not too sure exactly why. In your opinion, what do you think this could be? And why are so many people seeing the same thing in the sky? <laughs> One curious thing about paranormal activity is that most of the times one will capture it on camera and not even know about it. <laughs> In Arabian culture, ghosts, spirits, or demonic activity in general is taken very much seriously. Most of the times, they will refer to ghosts as jinn, which is an entity that can show up to people with good or evil intentions. 
And what's most curious about the Arab world is that they have some sort of chant to scare away or force evil entities that are present to show themselves. In 2009, a YouTube channel by the name of UK Now They're Out There uploaded a video where a group of people is exploring an abandoned school. Little did they know that there was something very wrong with this school and probably a good reason for it to remain abandoned. <laughs> When exploring the building's upper floor, they find a locked door from which inside they hear a moaning sound. Scared now that they might not be alone and not knowing exactly if this is a dog or anything else, they start running towards the lower floor. Now exploring the building, they enter one of the classrooms with Allah Allah written all over the chalkboard. In Arab culture, this is kind of like walking into a classroom with crosses drawn all over. It could be a sign that this building is indeed haunted. <laughs> Now this is when the strange things start happening. One of them says, I feel something strange here. They go into one of the classrooms and this is what they captured on camera. <laughs> Now, they didn't notice this at the time, but when they enter one of the classrooms, you can see what appears to be a headless, transparent figure walking towards them. And it appears that this thing, whatever it is, wasn't there. Watching in slow-mo, it's as if it's materializing, walking towards them. And what's most baffling is that in this exact moment, you can hear an Arab chant in the background, just outside the building. One of the boys even says, thank God someone is chanting because I was feeling strange. Can we get out of here? In your opinion, what is really going on here? Could this be some sort of glitch or is it the real deal? There is a big discussion on the internet whether we can capture other frequencies that the ears and the eyes can see with camera and video recorders. Enthusiasts say yes, that we can, and some experts say no, we can't. And indeed, it is something that we don't see every day. However, this next video that was taped in Japan by a taxi driver proves the contrary. A taxi driver picks up a client to drive him home and he's taping everything with a CCTV camera. Right after that, he goes back to his station to see if he can pick up another client. And this is when things become very bizarre. A shadowy figure can be seen sitting in the back seat. However, there is absolutely no one there. And if we zoom in on this thing, whatever it is, we apparently can make out a face. The thing is, the same way it appeared, it disappears. And to this day, it's very hard to say if this video is real or not. Even so, moments after the video was originally uploaded, it became a viral discussion, and I can completely understand why. This is not the only video that portrays something like this happening. So that leaves us with the question, is this the real deal or not? In Malaysian culture, there is a belief that when a person dies, it will haunt its own grave for at least seven days. Now, whether this is real or not, in a police station in Felda, three co-workers were working late at night when all of a sudden they captured a chilling figure on camera. <laughs> The police officers are discussing how this specific night 
there is an eerie atmosphere to the police station. And at the same time, they're making jokes about this and that. When all of a sudden, things aren't that funny anymore. A white figure can be seen crossing the window in a rapid pace and the officers are now scared. Startled, the person holding the camera doesn't want to go outside, while the rest of them do in search of this thing, but they don't find it. Taking into consideration their reaction, I don't think this is a prankster. Not only that, it's sort of dangerous to prank police officers in a police station late at night. However, I'm not too sure. What do you think? Is this a prankster or is it something else? Now, like I've said before, paranormal investigations, urban explorations, in general, going into an abandoned house or building can be very much dangerous for several reasons. Hello? Oh my god, what the f What the f Bro, bro, holy sh So in my opinion, it's very important to go accompanied by someone or at least very much prepared. And this is what Terror Al Estremo is doing, a YouTube channel located in Ecuador who does urban explorations and paranormal investigation. In one of their latest videos, they visit an abandoned chapel in the middle of the woods and it's a beautiful place or at least it was. Nowadays it looks pretty much abandoned and creepy as it can get. Both explorers go armed with cameras and equipment and what happens next will chill you to the bone. See? In this first part of the video we can easily observe that this place is huge, it's a labyrinth. In other words, it could be easily someone's hideout or a place for rituals. And it won't be long before Terror Alice Tremel realizes that they shouldn't have gone there in the first place. At first, they arrive at a small house and from a certain distance they can identify candles that are lit up. Once they get closer, these candles go out and things start to happen. No much. They start feeling a bit creeped out by it all. They approach the place slowly, only to find out there's no one there. Buenas noches. By now, they're pretty certain that they're not alone. Now the question is, is it ghosts or is it something else? Oi, oi, oi. The main cameraman captures strange noises coming from behind the building and both point out that they see some sort of shadow figure crossing one of the doors. They aren't able to capture this on camera. Just as the main investigator is explaining that he felt that there was something or someone there with them, a rock is thrown at them. Me dio un escalofrío tremendo. Sentí a alguien a un lado mío, Odin. Pero dices que viste la... ¿Sí viste la hoja? But both investigators are about to find out that they shouldn't have gone there in the first place. Pues así, o sea, a un ladito exactamente, Odin. Ay, 
Ой, Another rock, this time a bigger one, is thrown at them, and I guess the intention was to hit the camera, which makes me think that this isn't a hoax or anything like that. The cost for such equipment is pricey, and I don't think they would be fooling around with something like this. Now if this is some sort of ghost or spirit, it could be a jinn. In Saudi Arabian culture, jinns are known for throwing rocks at people when they want to scare them away from a certain place. However, if this isn't a jinn, it could be a person. But if we roll back and play the video once again, it seems that the rock came from the top of the tree, and there is absolutely no one there. <laughs> The investigators reach a series of underground tunnels, which makes me again think that this is the perfect place for a hideout, be it for some sort of ritual or something else. I don't think that they should be there all alone. Ah, no inventes, es adentro de la iglesia, Odin. Más bien de la capilla. Las luces en alto, eh. Mira, 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 mira. Odín, ¿lo agarraste? No, agarró la mitad, la mitad, la mitad. Ahí, 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 ahí. No inventes, ¿sí lo viste así como voló? Sí, sí, lo alcancé a ver, Luis. La vi la mitad del árbol. Ah, no manches, sí, ahí, ahí, ahí. Sí, 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 lo estoy viendo, está arriba, 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 arriba. Ya se desapareció, hermano. No inventes. Scared. And creeped out, they head back to the car when they spot a dark figure climbing the chapel. They run towards it in hopes of capturing it on camera. And now they do something that most paranormal investigators don't do. They head towards the figure. They try to find out exactly what it is that's on top of the building. And this is when they almost regret it instantly. Some sort of bizarre ritual is going on. And this is, I guess, when they sort of upset whatever or whomever could be hiding there. Ay, Odin. Odin, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está. Not satisfied with what they're seeing, they head to the chapel's backyard. And this is when things really take a turn. Sí, 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 se ve que... Estaban como murmurando, ¿no? Ajá. De no. hecho, sí. Yo ya vi como si estuvieran platicando. Pero... Aquí, 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 aquí. They are both hearing voices coming from inside the woods and they decide to turn one of the lights off. This is what happens next. ¿Ya está? Espérame, ya ya está, eh. Te estoy grabando, ya estoy. Ahí está, ahí está. Listo. All of a sudden, Odin is abruptly pulled by some unknown force. This is when his friend, still rolling the camera, runs towards him to check out on him. You can see him passing Odin's camera, which he dropped at that exact moment he was pulled. And Odin was dragged a few meters which is somewhat impressive. Gladly, no one was injured and you can see Odin trying to grasp exactly what just happened there. Now, taking into consideration that this is a second time that they could have broken a camera, not to mention many other factors such as their reactions, I don't think this is an elaborate hoax or anything like that. They are either being chased by a group of people 
that are possibly performing rituals in this area and they're not happy with their presence. Or this could be legitimate paranormal phenomena caught on camera. Needless to say, they got the heck out of there as fast as possible and I guess they never returned. In your opinion, could this actually be paranormal events captured on camera or is it something else? And what would you have done if you were in this situation? Now, when it comes to paranormal activity, it's not just videotapes of abandoned buildings or homes. In West Africa, more specifically in Togo, Benin and Senegal, an ancestral cult is practiced whose venerated entity is called Zangbeto, a term that means guardians of the night. Zangbetos are represented by figures wrapped in structures made of straw, wood and other materials and during ceremonies these entities display themselves by dancing in the center of ritual spaces. They are always surrounded by tourists, community residents and practicing witch doctors of voodoo religion. However, according to local Yoruba legend, there are no humans under the costume, only spirits of the night. And there is no evidence that the manifestation of these spirits through so-called Zangbeto is a fraud. On the contrary, to this day, Zangbetos haven't been proven fake at all. Now, I've featured these kind of rituals before in my channel, but never a video like this. Usually videos of Zangbetos can be found on the internet in very low quality. And this specific video was uploaded by Dynast Amir in his Facebook page. And it shows very clearly that we're talking about something that very possibly is the real deal. <laughs> this part of the video we can see that there's some sort of offering that they're giving the Zangbeto and soon it begins to dance and at first I have to say I was a bit skeptical about this Zangbeto ritual. However Dynast Amir shows us another part where we can see that there apparently isn't anything inside this voodoo mask. <laughs> But it doesn't stop there. Dynast Amir goes to another ritual in which he shows us witch doctors assembling one of these voodoo masks. You can observe in this part of the video that locals and tourists are a bit baffled by what they're seeing. Inside the Zangbeto it's completely empty and once the witch doctors assemble it, it simply starts dancing by its own. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, this voodoo witchcraft is known only by some witch doctors and people that are a part of some sort of secret society where they share this ancient knowledge of how to connect to the spirit world. In your opinion, what is really going on? Do you think this could be some sort of hoax or do you think this is something else that's going on here? Since the invention of photography and video cameras, people have been capturing many different things. From the most amazing to the most chilling and bizarre, video cameras have been used for basically everything. And needless to say, capturing the paranormal has been one of them. <laughs> For instance, in the 1950s, a family known as the Coppers moved in into their new home in Texas. 
In this picture, there were only four members of the family, however, a fifth person can be seen hanging from the ceiling. And in this picture, what's peculiar is that you can't make out this person's face. Now, this was in the 1950s, and in today's world, people use different technologies to capture paranormal phenomena. And one of the most recent technologies that I was skeptic at first is a Tesla car. The Tesla car has a sensor that detects people around it to avoid collisions. And last year, YouTubers noticed that their Tesla cars were detecting people that simply weren't there. Oh my god. What am I doing? What if they just start surrounding me? Oh. What the? What the? F Yo, I saw that. An Italian YouTube channel by the name of Paranormal Investigation Team was trying this Tesla thing out in an abandoned cemetery. And what they captured on camera was more than they bargained for. This is what happened. Non so come saranno, raga. Non lo so, ma se lo troviamo, sensore e si vola. Cosa? Non hai sentito? Tu. Ma non cominciare a autosuggestionarti per cortesia. Both Paolo and his wife are discussing about how the cemetery is creepy at night and that it has been abandoned for years and is no longer a part of the town. When all of a sudden she feels a thud in the car and then later on in the video it happens again. Dai, smettila, però. After minutes sitting inside the car waiting for something to happen, they're both getting very tense with the situation. Paolo just wants to confirm if this Tesla ghost hunting thing is real and she just wants to get as far away from this place as possible because since they got there, she feels something odd about this place. This is when finally they're able to capture something on the Tesla motion sensor. <laughs> Non l'ho filmato. Non l'ho filmato. Davanti nero. Di nuovo, guarda, guarda, guarda. Guarda, non c'è niente e non c'è niente. Non c'è niente, ma c'era. L'hai visto? L'hai visto? L'hai visto? After 30 minutes or more with the car parked in the same place, a person now is showing up. Someone that isn't there now appears in Tesla's dashboard and Paolo and his wife are a bit scared. They get the heck out of there and they come back another day with someone else to help them tape this mysterious phenomena. However, what they captured on camera is a bit more baffling and this time it left everyone creeped out to the point that they never returned to this abandoned cemetery. Check this out. Sì, è pieno di croce anche. È solo che non arriva nel Era tutto un cimitero, hai capito? Vedi che sono gigante. After having the courage to check out the cemetery for themselves, they go back inside the car and wait out for something to happen, something similar to their previous video. They expected something to show up in the Tesla dashboard, but this time it was quite different. What happens next is far more chilling. Questione del luogo, eh. Cioè non è niente di che. Certo, quella può far tanto. Potrebbe essere semplicemente quello. Oppure lei praticamente non c'è più. Perché abbiamo espresso il suo. Te lo giuro, c'è qualcosa, c'è qualcosa là. Dove? Dove? C'è qualcosa là? Dalle croci, dalle croci. Dalle croci. Ma infatti, te lo giuro, te lo giuro. L'ho vista là, là. Non l'ho vista. Là, sì, l'ho vista. If you look closely, the cameraman was able to capture a shadowy humanoid figure in the background diving into one of the graves. Unfortunately, the cameraman wasn't focusing in the background. I believe it did not expect anything like this to happen, and this is exactly why I believe this is possibly the real deal and not an elaborate hoax. What do you think? Have you ever seen anything like this? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this.